just checking out some trees and <clears throat> we're going to identify them, kind of tell you all a little bit about each one. Uh, we have here a host oak and it is in the white oak family. Very good. So the white oak family of oak trees, they have less tannin. Very good. Which is an acid in the acorn, right? Yes. So that means they are a lot more tasty to deer, especially they're going to really come into play kind of earlier in the season, whereas the red oaks have more of the tannin and <clears throat> they kind of get sweeter as the season progresses. So they're a key component later in the fall and into the winter. But uh, one thing I see, Paige, is it looks like this tree, it's got a lot of acorns kind of developing. So I think we're going to have a really good acorn year up here this year. And they're yeah, really coming. Oh, yeah. They're really going to come into play. So let's go on to the next one. All right. What do we have here, Paige? It is a red oak. Red oak leaves are more pointy than white oak. White oak's more rounded. Mm -hmm. right. Very good. One thing interesting, too, that I've found here on our property with these red oaks is they seem to actually have less tannin than a lot of other red oaks and i've seen deer actually eat these acorns much earlier than they typically would uh, so that's just a neat little tidbit but uh <laughs> the red oak family is arguably they're the family of oaks that kind of get the deer and wildlife through winter their acorns aren't going to rot near as fast as the white oak but they're just not as tasty until later in the season but uh and they're also Go ahead. Kind of like how you said that you need vegetables to live. This is kind of like the deer's vegetables, right? Can you explain that? <laughs> it's kind of, well, one thing I was telling her earlier is like, it's kind of like vegetables as far as a red oak because the red oak, you know, it's really good for the deer. It's there more often than white oaks, but it's kind of like the vegetables. They usually don't want to eat them first. So, just pretty neat, but. Let's go on to the next There's one, Paige. There's a bug? Yeah, it's a mosquito. Oh. There's also a spider right there. It's on your boot. Oh, sure enough. On to the next one. What else is neat on these leaves? So, typically, trees, oak trees in the red oak family, mm -hmm. their leaves are pointy, like one we just did before. What was that called? <laughs> a red oak. Mm -hmm. Um. And these are rounded, but, can you see that? Mm, yep. Okay. They have little spikes all around them. Hmm. That's kind of cool. <laughs> so with these, they seem to be, at least in our area, probably one of the, they're definitely not the most preferred red oak for the deer and other wildlife. But they do have benefits. Uh, this one's kind of, you know, more of just a longer, taller tree. But a lot of them, they'll kind of have, you know, pretty good cover and kind of spread out real well. But also, at the end of this video, we're going to do a little quiz and just see, you know, if y'all learned anything. So stay tuned for that and let's get on to the hickory. All right, what do we have here, Barbie? A hickory tree. A hickory tree, and we've got plenty of them. Uh, we've kind of been cutting a few down here and there and killing a few. Um, they're really, they're pretty good for squirrels. Uh, the deer don't typically go for them. Uh, the red oaks, white oaks, fruit trees, hardwood regeneration, that's a whole lot more important than a hickory tree. But they're good just in small amounts. But uh, is this one of your favorite trees? No. No. What do you think your favorite tree is? <laughs> I think beneficial. A mimosa. Yeah. A mimosa. There's the hickory nut. Hogs like them. Yeah, hogs. But these squirrels, you know, they're really yeah. prolific with planting acorns, hickories, all that. Uh, they're really good at planting because they'll bury them and dig them up later for winter, which they don't always dig them up. Anyways, still a neat tree though, so let's check out the next one. Well, what do we have here? A persimmon. Okay, what's well, kind of interesting about a persimmon? There's blank and blank persimmon oh, trees. Oh, male and female. 
so that's pretty neat only the females are gonna actually produce fruit whereas most oak trees and stuff like that they'll have male and female flowers so that's kind of a neat fact so just because you see a persimmon tree and you're thinking oh that's gonna produce good it might be a male so anyways another thing ADD much uh, <laughs> Me. what Me. okay so what what is the easiest way to identify a persimmon tree the page? bark and what does it look like to you alligator skin so this is a really beneficial tree uh, this one I'm not really sure if it's a male or a female we're not gonna have a really good persimmon year it looks like but uh, one thing about persimmons if you've ever bitten into one and it wasn't quite ripe you know that feeling and it is super strong uh, the deer and other wildlife it doesn't really seem to bug them as much but I want to show the camera something okay go ahead Come on. Okay. The moss on it looks really cool. Yep. Pretty neat. But yeah, persimmon trees, uh, they're super beneficial whenever they're producing. Um, in fact, we've got some trees, they'll kind of drop their fruit later in December even, as opposed to kind of October. But, well, y'all check out this quiz we got coming up for you and let us know how y'all did. Well, all right, girls. So I think we did a decent job trying to inform everybody just a few trees we have here on our property and kind of how they benefit wildlife. But uh, do whatever it takes. Just get out your family and you know get out in the outdoors, enjoy God's creation because uh, there really isn't much like it, and it'll really soothe your soul. <laughs> You should go outside too and see if you can find some of these trees even if you live in town even if you don't have that many trees but just go see if you can find some of the ones we talked about today and you can comment what you find below exactly for all your wildlife needs just give us a call whether it be habitat work improvements uh, or nuisance wildlife well y'all have a blessed have day, a blessed day. Don't forget to like this video, turn on the notification bell, and share. Very good, kiddo. <laughs>